Hello folks, and welcome back. Well, welcome to Mountain Blade Warband Viking Conquest Reforged Edition. It was also winner of the longest video game name ever. Uh, let me just make sure I'm recording fine. Recording locally, recording locally, recording locally, recording locally. Everything's ticking up there. Just hunky-dory. Uh, the game is actually on screen. The only things open are Steam, Xplit, and the game itself. So let's get in. And you can hear me just fine. Hopefully the audio level is fine. Uh, let me just show you what it's currently at. Uh, here it is. Oh, here it is. And also, I will be having... You know, uh, we'll be having the combat and campaign AI on average damage to friends on normal, and damage to player on half. And we'll leave damage to friends on normal, yeah. So, yeah. We'll put it on them. I can adjust that will, if needed. Um, we'll start a new game. Regrettably, because this will piss off. I couldn't read that there. Here, let me go back um, and pause it one sec. Hey folks, let me make sure I'm actually recording again. Recording locally, recording locally, recording locally, recording locally, recording locally. Sorry, I have to chant it to myself to actually make sure I believe it. Otherwise, it's just like, am I? I it's right before my eyes, but I don't believe it. It's just this weird thing. So young men, build the future wisely upon... Ugh, you're going to have to pause it and read it yourself. I took myself. So, I am going to... Uh... I've been wanting to play a dual let's play of Mountain Blade Warband for quite a while. And since I recently got the DLC Viking Conquest, Reforged Edition, I figured, you know what, I'll do the storyline campaign. And then I'll uh, I may give a try of, you know, the sandbox here, but I'm thinking I'll go back and do a camp the sandbox in Warband Normal. And I've also been looking at a modded let's play through of Warband uh, Fantasy Coradia. Let me make sure. Actually, speaking of that, Firefox is closed. Yeah, Firefox is closed. I'll go and do a let's play of that, because that seems interesting. Basically, it's Warband, but with magic. Like D&D &D stuff mixed in. So it's really cool. But anyway, recruitment. Beginner level, when you ask permission to recruit villages, the answer is always positive and without cost. Um, the beginner and hardcore options for the setting can't be disabled anymore after you click continue. Uh, at beginner level, leveling troops is easier. Budget, uh, beginner, wages of players' troops are reduced by 40%. Additional loot mounted monasteries and chance to capture ship are increased. I'm leaving them, I'm leaving them all on normal. Uh, damage to player and friends are on the easiest setting. Actually, what's normal like? Okay, you're not new. Right, let's go with custom. Easy and easy. Just, let's leave it on the easy setting, not the easiest. I'm not great at this game. I'm okay. I've done actually pretty well for myself. Um, I don't think I have the saving here on this side. Um, on, like, I'm... I've done and played a fair bit of Warband. I don't know if the save from my Mac will transfer over here, but I've done pretty well for myself. Joined the Vegas, Vegas, uh, captured quite a few cities by myself. Actually, I ended up with a ton of troops, um, good few Swadi and knights and whatnot, defending my uh, peeps castles. Um, didn't end up with any cities. The Vega king refused to give me any. Even though I was the one going out gathering vast majority of his territory. Kept giving them to everyone else. But would give me a key castle once in a while. So he could get away with not giving me another town. Ooh, let's... Christ. What? A battle size above the engine maximum of 300 could cause some problems. Fine. Apparently, Warband 2 will fix this. You can have much more than 300. 
there we go. Disable scenic menu. Eh. Insane difficulty, no. Player division. I don't know. I don't know about this stuff. I'll leave it as it is. I did do an audio test recording of this, which I may release at some stage. Who knows? We are in the ninth century. Long, are go long gone are the lights of Rome, absorbed by the tide of time. Yet several centuries remain until the golden age of knights and princesses to come. Uh, it is a brutal, dark, and ruthless era of raw strength and survival, where men go to bed every night praying to see a new day. It is an age of the Viking, the clans of Ireland, the ascension of Wessex, and the emergence of the kingdom of, kingdom of Alba. It awaits you. So, who are you? And then the these stats will affect your attributes, skills, dialogues, among other things. There is I've since I've learned one thing from my audio test. There is a quest early on as part of the campaign. So you have to do it. I don't know if there's any optional stuff, but you have to do this part. And it's easier if you can read. So I'm going to see if I can make myself a um, cure up in some way so I can be sure I can actually read. Okay, yeah. Good edu good education, so probably. I uh, also learned oratory. Hmm, just uh, skimming around to it in case I see any reference to it. No, I don't see it. Hmm. Actually, oratory is um, the shop assistant thing. Alright. I assumed it would have its own special thing. So, ethnicity. You can choose this. Foreigner. Uh, Scotto pick, pit, picked. To be honest, I'm probably saying got, you know, countless amounts of slurs there. <laughs> And that's always my one fear. I'll butcher a word and... Well, apparently I've insulted everyone's grandma. I'm sure some of their grandmas deserved it. Uh, Anglo-Saxon, Norse... Frasian. I'm saying that wrong intentionally. I have no idea how to say it, so I'm just going to go with... Uh, the. Well, well, apparently Fraser Crane has his own ethnicity now. Irish, Britain... Or that, that well, then. I go with Irish. Eh, may as well. A uh, uh, male or female will go with male. Uh, normal. Eh, we'll go with young. I don't know how much of an effect I'll have on things. Like, there is one. Um, mod I saw for Get Warband that I actually really like the look of. It is a Game of Thrones one. I won't be playing it. Well, I might. I might play it, but I will have to edit the audio slightly. By that I mean I'll have to turn off the in-game audio slider, and if I can buy the soundtrack to Mountain Blade, I'll just be playing the Mountain Blade Warband, I should say, the Warband audio in the background instead. Uh, like, just like, open up iTunes, have it playing on the playlist in the background. So the the music mightn't quite fit this situation, but it still will have something. It's just simply a case of um, they they hack since it's a Game of Thrones thing. They have the Game of Thrones team right at the start, and I don't want to mess with that. Like I've said in other things, I don't want to deal with legal shenanigans. Legal shenanigans scares me. So. Uh, it's just like, let's not deal with it at all. If I need to, I will. Uh, I, I was uploading Metro Last Life Redux videos before, and the amount of times people were challenging it, saying, Oh, we own that content! But you're not Deep Silver. 
Like, come on, dude. You know, watch what you're claiming. Uh, and now here's the personality. There's Flemic, Melancholic, Choric, and Sanguine. And here's the things over here. According to the four cardinal virtues... No, sorry, that's different. According to Gallon's ancient temperaments, your personality is Sanguine. Its, its element is air, and its hypocritic humor is blood. It is associated with people who are optimistic, imaginative, creative, artistic, cheerful, sociable, rational, and pleasure-seeking. These people are also often forgetful, impulsive, and unpredictable. To be honest, sanguine sounds much nicer when it's explained, because sanguine is associated with blood. In fact, that's what the word means. It's not just associated, like, it's humor is not just blood. That's actually what the word itself means. I, like, that's actually the meaning of the word sanguine. It also can mean sure. You're, well, I guess maybe you're bloody sure. Eh? Eh? Kind of reminded me there of... There was an Overwatch comic I saw before. Also, I'm thinking I will have to upload two parts each time, because this is due to the way I play this game. But whatever. Um, during the audio test, uh, it took me 20 minutes to actually get into it, because I was going through each part. Just uh, obsessive. There's an Overwatch comic. Um, it was had D.Va... Uh, McCree and o Soldier 76. Um, McCree w was in between the two of them. Um, and. Yeah, he, he was just like. They're contesting a point, and he's like, you know, not on my watch. Um, and Soldier 76, like, starts talking, but he isn't looking at them. He's looking away for a moment. He's like, wait, don't you mean. And it has a quick panel where it cuts to D.Va. And it's like, oh god, here it comes. And then he looks at them, like, you know, with a finger gun just from one hand. His, uh, his left hand, pointing at McCree. He's like, uh, oh, also for that beat panel, McCree's just looking really confused. But anyway, back to the panel after that. So it's 76 is like, don't you mean not over your watch? And it's me. Uh, Diva face palms and McCree drops his cigar and just like in kind of a what the fuck kind of thing. It was hilarious. I would tell you what artist made that. I actually also really like the art style for, for it all. But well, mainly the first panel and the detail on Soldier 76. Um, but the first panel, for whatever reason when I saw it, my mind started associating with Metal Gear Solid art. Even though it doesn't exactly look like the stuff. That's, it could just be something about it, or that's just my mind at work. It, um, it can associate things that don't actually have connections. Uh, recording locally, recording locally, recording locally, recording locally, recording locally, recording locally. Like, I could see Keanu Reeves and think, oh, Harvey Dent! You know? Like, I actually remember I was watching the movie Snowpiercer before, and for the first most in movie. I didn't realize the main guy was Captain America. I thought it was Keanu Reeves. Or maybe I did realize it was Captain America, but just realized, but just kept thinking, he looks so much like Keanu Reeves. I can't remember. I know afterwards I realized, oh, that's Cap. Or I knew it was Cap, but I thought it was, he just looks so much like Keanu Reeves for the first bit. He was wearing a hat, and, and not like a top hat around, it's just a, like a bowling hat he pulled on. And he had a beard, like a black beard, and he didn't really look like, you know, Captain America. So, yeah. Also, you know one thing with the Captain America movies? I love how everyone just brushes off the fact that... Actually, I feel kind of awkward, because it's been ages since I saw the first movie, so maybe, uh, uh like, someone's not... I, I vaguely remember parts of it. And people were pointing out how like weird one scene was, and I'm like, yeah, that is weird. But what if they're misconstruing the scene, you know? You know the scene after uh, a woman's making moves on Cap? Uh, Peggy sees it, she gets kind of upset, and then she opens fire on him when he first gets his shield and shows it to her? Yeah. Uh, I, I, as far as I remember, that's kind of forgotten how she... If that shield hadn't worked, she would have killed Captain America. Be out of jealous rage. 
I, I love how that's kind of forgotten and brushed under the rug. Uh, hilarious. It just is. I'm, that's always in the back of my mind whenever they go on about like bring up, you know, his feelings for her. Just she came really close to killing him. Jesus would be murderer. Maybe I'm being a bit strong there, but it just I love how and I'm being sarcastic with the love comment. Just how quickly people are to forget that, or maybe I'm just being too harsh on the character. I don't know. I need to sit down and watch that movie again. I've seen it straight away through, I do believe. But I really wasn't into it, so I wasn't really paying much attention to it. So it's just like, oh, maybe I'm missing, maybe I'm forgetting or missing something. And I do understand how like people react poorly in love, they make stupid choices, but just because you're in love, it doesn't mean you don't bear the consequences of, you know, shooting at people, you know? Yeah. Um, real romantic here. Um, how about we don't kill people? You know? Outrageous statement. I don't remember what I'm saying anymore. I'm sorry, I'm tired. <sighs> I'm not sure if I sound tired, but I feel it. Then again, I exaggerate the slightest feeling of tiredness. Like I stub my toe and that my mind will exaggerate the pain. So it's like, I've just ripped my leg off and clubbed myself half to death with it. But anyway, um, anyway, this other one is Flemic. I think I'm, I'm saying that right. Whatever. Its uh, element is water. No shit. Its uh, Hippocrates' humor is phlegm. No shit. It is associated with people who are calm, compassionate, self-content, reliable, shy, observant, and consistent. These people are also resistant to change, distant, relaxed, and reserved. Melancholic. Its element is art, and its Hippocrates humor is black bile. Oh, that's friendly. It is associated with people who are introverted, sensitive, intuitive, creative, perfectionistic. Is that a word? Patient, caring, and tolerant. These people are also clumsy, obsessed, depressed, and dissatisfied. Cork. It is associated with people who are persuasive, egocentric, extroverted, independent, charismatic, and ambitious. These people are also insistent, impetuous, bad-tempered, Restless and touchy. Uh, let's go with sang Sanguine because that's the friendliest of them all. Greatest virtue, wisdom, fortitude, temperance, and justice. Let's go with wisdom. It was actually a weird thing. The justice one. One the thing like, like you get different conversation options depending on which virtue you, like you have, which makes sense. That's cool. Uh, but it's like. Um, like, the, the, you know the job that you have reading for? You can just choose to believe a person simply because they're a priest. It's... It's kind of funny considering... Maybe it's a bit after this time period, but... the pre it, I, I was reading this in Horrible Histories. The priests would say the word... Like, this is slightly different to justice, but I still always find it funny. They would say the word God every second word, if I remember correctly. Like, maybe it was actually part of a quiz and actually incorrect, but if memory serves, they would say the word God every second word just to make themselves more sound more holy. Yeah. They would also say if you di did or didn't give them a bit of your land, they would kill you for it. One knight gave them a bit of land. By the time uh, they snuck in, killed him, by the time his relatives tur uh, turned up, there was a barn where his house used to be. Certainly, though, different area. That was somewhere in England. So, I just, my mind starts connecting with that, and it's just like, huh. Well, that's a. No. Yeah. It's thinking it's. Jane Standard Justice. Because of your profession, you must be a good person. No, pricks are found everywhere. Pricks are found everywhere. Justice, temperance, fortitude, and wisdom. Okay, let's see what wisdom says. Um, also called prudence, it governs actions according to 
the dictate of reason in order to choose the right response to any situation. Wisdom implies the ability to judge in advance the probable consequences of one's actions.